to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. No one really shared this with us. We well, bought this. Uh, technically, patrons yeah. made it possible patrons to purchase. made it. Yeah, there we go. Um, so thanks to our patrons for making it possible for us to have this bottle. Boom. This is, though, the Baker's High Rye Seven Single year. Barrel Bourbon. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's actually... Seven is is the youngest that can uh, legally be in here for this label, but this is a seven year and six month single barrel. Mm -hmm. It is a different recipe than the normal bakers. Right, uh, I think if you do some deductive reasoning, you can find out what other product that Jim Beam makes that, that is the same mash bill or a similar mash bill to this. Um, it is 107 proof. It costs us, what, 75? 75, we got it at the distillery on our, on our last bourbon hunt. Limited release, yeah. so I don't know how limited that will be, but from what we understand, it should be out there. Mm -hmm. Red pretty yeah. readily available for right now. And if you're not a sleuth or you don't want to go sleuthing, we'll just say that mash bill we're talking about is Old Granddad. That is their higher rye. OGD has bonded, has 114, never 107, so. 107. And Baker's also it still gets here. the Baker's treatment and the Baker's age statement. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, so let's go in. That's pretty classic. Yeah, I don't get a ton of like rye influence on the nose. I mean, a little nope. bit of baking spice and maybe a tiny bit of pepper, but for the most part, it's still giving me bourbon, which it is a high rye bourbon, so that's still true, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a caramel, uh, a little bit of a tea note in there. A bit of that like Jim Beam mm. kind of mal malted barley nuttiness, classic Slight Jim Beam notes. nuttiness. Right, a, li yeah. a little bit. A little bit, That's yeah. what a little bit means. <laughs> slightly, slightly, not little. But overall, yeah, I would say, Pretty, pretty good nose, pretty enjoyable. Mm -hmm. All right, to your health. Mm. Okay, nice little kick there in the beginning. Yeah, again, like there is some rye influence and I get it more towards the finish with like a fresh cracked pepper clove note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely A little bit clove. of like tea, like oversteep tea. And um, herbal. Mm -hmm. But it's not a ton of rye. I don't know, maybe it's because this bottle has like green trim on it. In my head, <laughs> I always associate green with rye. Yeah. And I we... expect it to be like more rye forward, even though I mm. know that's not how they're really positioning it. It's just a higher rye bourbon. But my brain's right. like, this does not compete. No, I hear you. When we first saw it, we actually thought it was a baker's rye. I thought it was a rye. Like, yeah. Oh, a new baker's rye. But yeah, upon further investigation, no, it's it is is not just, just a high rye bourbon. So <sighs> we got to try this at the tasting bar at uh, the distillery. And they also at the time had the Knob Creek 10 year rye out. So we tried that too. I personally prefer the Knob Creek 10 year rye, I think because it's actually a rye. And I liked the, you know, the oak notes that were coming through with the age statement a little bit more. Whereas this is a little sweeter on that day. And also on this day, I feel like I lean more towards the, the Knob Creek 10 year rye. Could be. We, we still don't <laughs> own a bottle. We kind of decided against it since we had uh, oh, tried it at the We bought plenty bar. on that hunting yeah, trip, yeah, so no, we, we were, didn't need we were, to. We were fine. But what I am kind of sensing here, Sarah, is we can now do a Baker's Flight Fight, Blind Flight, uh, because we'll have the regular Baker's regular recipe uh, single barrel. We'd have the, the classic seven year before it went to single barrel, so that'd be a small batch. Mm -hmm. we still have one of the, a couple of those around. We'd have the Baker's 13 year, and now we would have the Baker's High Rye. Hmm. And we could see, I mean, obviously you would think, you would hope for the price that the Baker's 13 would come out on top, but a lot of times that's why I'll, why we'll do a flight is to just see how things will shake out with the older, you know, seven year uh, yeah. older style bottle since it's, you know, I don't know, it come since out. it's an old, like no longer in production, I don't know if that would be of interest to the audience and also well, then we the 13 can't do the being the limited release. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying we shouldn't do a flight. I'm just saying, do you guys want to see us use, you know, we only produce so many episodes and I don't know mm -hmm. that that one deserves to be one. Perhaps it's alive. Maybe it's alive. Maybe it's maybe, alive. Maybe it's alive. All right, well, before we wax any more about this, uh, we want to hit pause and tell you about our home on the internet. It's whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get uh, both of the t-shirts that we are wearing, Sarah. Mm -hmm. The Lynn Karens that we are drinking from, uh, in fact, all of our glassware, our bottle cut candles, our elemental elixir cocktail syrup, hats, hoodies, because it's getting cold, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And for this month, the month of Bourbon Heritage Month, you can get 10% off your purchase and free shipping when you spend over $100 on our store. Uh, and again, as we said, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night and it is they who we have to thank for the ability to get this bottle and so many other bottles that make the channel go. And in return, we give them, depending on their tier, discounts to that merch, access to our exclusive barrel picks and more. Yeah. All right, sir, I've had, you know, two sips of this and 
the second year and third, <laughs> second sip, I, I definitely in, enjoyed it more. That's not unusual. That's just getting acclimated to it. First bourbon of the day, actually. Um, but one thing I, I'll, I'll kind of give it a little ding on is it's not super viscous. It's not a it's not a real rich mouthfeel. It uh, honestly tastes just a tad bit on the thinner side. Is it because of how you associate bakers with this fancy bottle and this fancy topper? Is it not lining up there for what you expected? Because I think, you know, a seven plus year old product for $75 wouldn't look at, I mean, obviously Booker's is a little bit of a higher proof, but it's going for $100, $110 at the distillery around the same age statement. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that I find them to be that much different. I feel like with the uncut nature of uh, Booker's. It retains it more of a viscosity. Yeah, it does. But still, for $30 <sighs> less, are you that mad about it? Well, I'm not really mad about it. Uh, and also keep in mind that this is a single barrel. So if we bought a, another bottle that was uh, mm. came from a different barrel, we might feel differently, even favorably or less. It's results open. may vary. Results may vary, exactly. So you always have to um, take that into account. And we've seen that in our modern versus yesteryear bottles. Mm -hmm. When a single barrel has come up, there's always been more variancy, I believe, mm -hmm. than just other like small variancy. batches. Variancy. Variancy? Just variance. No, I'm gonna go with variancy. I don't think that's the word. Sounds a little, a little bit more $5 Sounds a little bit more word. made up. Yeah. Well, all uh, words various. are made up, Sarah. Yes, all words are made up, but I don't believe variancy is in the dictionary. Well, I'm gonna stick with, I would rather have the Knob Creek 10 year uh, rye at 100 proof, so just seven proof points lower. Five dollars cheaper. It was 70 at the distillery. Yeah. You get three more, you know, years of age statement. It is actually a rye, but we all know that their rye mash bill is a batch. low rye right. mash bill, and it's a small batch. So you're going to get more consistency. Mm -hmm. Well, I, mean, I guess if you do want to see a review of that, it is in the hunting video. It's around the six minute mark. We do a little oh. mini review of the uh, ten year rye at the tasting bar. So yeah, you... since we can't really talk about it in depth here, you can go That's or right. just talk about it there. Yeah, there you go. But overall, I mean, I'm I'm fairly happy. Uh, I, I think maybe the excitement of a, of a you know a new mash bill in a you know historic uh, label like Baker's got me kind of excited. And yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, it's, I'm not clamoring for another bottle anytime soon. <laughs> but I'm also you know fairly happy. With it's it. all right. Well, there we go. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There are suggestions of other videos down here. We hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Patreon. Until next time, drink more bourbon. Mm -hmm.